Good day everyone, once again we're back together and uh, first of all I'd like to apologize that the video that I posted before this one um, had a challenge with sound. Uh, I tried to fix it but unfortunately uh, that didn't work. Okay, so uh, we're just going to go right ahead and do this question yet again. And uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed, just make sure that you are part of the family. And uh, yeah, you're welcome to always get in touch with us if you need assistance. And uh, we do offer classes on maths and science. Uh, and our email address is info at mlungisinkosi.co.za. Your favorite uncle is going to make sure that he always becomes the plug when it comes to maths and science. All right, so please uh, make uh, uh, do us a favor and tell as many people as possible. We're trying to get to that 100,000 number. All right, now uh, let's get into the question. So the first question says, what is an isolated system? Right, now please I want you to note in this case, um, I'm just going to make an adjustment here. Uh, an isolated system is a system whereby there are no external forces. So just keep that in mind, that every time we are looking at an, um, you know, an isolated system, we simply mean that there are no external forces. Okay. Right. So uh, no external forces. Right. Okay. So um, the next question, they say, well, uh, during an experiment, uh, my handwriting looks terrible there. Okay. Uh, during an experiment, a rocket uh, of unknown mass is mounted on a, a toy cart of mass 20 kilograms. Uh, they say the cart rocket combination moves at a constant speed of 2.5 meters per second along a horizontal floor. Right. Now they say at a certain instant, uh, the rocket is fired in the direction of motion at a speed of 30 meters per second. I think the picture speaks for itself. Okay. As a result, the cut slows down uh, to a speed of 0 0.6 meters per second as shown in the diagram. Now, let's talk about it uh, uh, just a bit. Uh, they say use uh, relevant physical uh, physics principles to explain why the firing of the rocket will slow down the cut. Now, the answer is quite simple. Uh, if you think of Newton's third law, right? Uh, so that would be the uh, physics uh, principle. Uh, so that's Newton three, right? Now, if you think about it, in order for the rocket to be fired in this case, it means that the cut had to exert a force on the rocket, right? But what happens according to Newton three, if the cut exerts a force on the rocket, then guess what? The rocket exerts an equal but opposite force on the cut, okay? So obviously, because it experiences a force in the opposite direction, it will therefore slow down, okay? Right, remember Newton's third law, it says if body A exerts a force on body B, then body B exerts an equal but opposite force on body A, Right, now let's go to the next question. This is quite a straightforward, um, you know, uh, question on momentum. So they say to us, uh, calculate the mass of the rocket at the instant uh, the rocket was fired uh, from the toy cart. So we're going to use principles of uh, linear momentum in this case. So we're going to say uh, sum of momentum uh, before collision should be equal to the sum of the momentas uh, after collision, right? Um, this is in a in an in an isolated system. Uh, they did tell us that uh, there are no there's no frictional force in this case, so definitely we know there are no external forces, right? So in this case, we um, remember we didn't know the mass of the cut, okay? But in this case, in fact, no, 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 we didn't know the mass of the um of the uh, rocket, but they had told us that the mass of the cut was 20 kilograms. Okay, that's according to the statement. Remember that. Okay, they told us uh, that the cut, ha the rocket rather has an unknown mass, and we know that the toy uh, um, uh, cut in this case has a mass of 20 kilograms, right? So now, what we're going to do, we know that before collision, they were both moving together, right? So it means we are going to have the mass of the trolley, um, uh, of the cut rather, plus the mass of the rocket, 
times the initial velocity, okay? But we know that after collision, now they are separated. So we're going to say this is the mass of the cut times velocity of the cut final plus the mass of the rocket times velocity of the rocket final. All right, now let's try and substitute. Um, I'm just simply going to call the mass of the, um, you know, of the rocket M, right? If you don't mind, or you can keep it to uh, MR, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it is what it is, right? Uh, now, uh, what I'm simply going to do is just take, we know that the mass um, of the cut, in this case, that's going to just be 20 plus M. But remember, in fact, I'm going to choose a direction. I'm going to take direction to the right as positive. So this would be multiplied by the initial velocity, which was 2.5. Okay, so this is multiplied by 2.5. And this is equal to uh, uh, 20. Okay, that's for the cut multiplied by 0 0.6. Okay, plus in this case, we've got the mass m multiplied by 30. All of those velocities are positive. Okay, right. And of course, uh, what we're simply going to do is just multiply uh, into the bracket. Uh, so we're going to say 20 times 2.5, that's 50, uh, plus 2.5m. And on the right-hand side, 20 times 0 0.6, that will give us 12, uh, plus uh, 30m. Okay, so we're going to do some gymnastics over here. Okay, I'm just going to move this a bit. Okay, so we know in this case, if I take um, uh, all the numbers together uh, and the ones with the variables, okay, so bringing 30 to the other side, it becomes minus 30m plus 2.5m, okay, which is equal to, this is going to be 12 uh, minus 50. Okay, so in this case, we've got minus 27.5 m, which is equals to a negative 38, I think. All right, and uh, of course, what are we going to do? Just divide both sides by minus 27.5, minus 27.5. What I do on the left, I do on the right. And so, uh, our final answer, uh, I didn't open my calculator here, okay, but uh, so that's going to be 38 divided by 27.5, and in this case, I get 1.38 as my final answer. Remember, this is mass, and mass is always measured in kilograms, okay. Right, and essentially that is how the cookie crumbles in terms of this question, okay? And um, uh, please just make sure that, uh, uh, you know, you, you, you are always careful to just leave the rounding off to the end, right? Um, yeah, and uh, we'll leave this question here. Otherwise, ladies and gents, please just make sure that you uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, we want to grow our numbers. We want to reach that 100,000 mark. Uh, and we also want to make sure that... Uh, you know, you always get value. So we value your feedback. Uh, just, uh, you know, comment, uh, like, share to as many people as possible. And by the way, you can also give us uh, what we call super thanks, which is a, a monetary gift. Okay. Can give your uncle some money. Okay. We need it. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, just to say thank you for the work that we do. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Shop shop.